Moving on to health news, heart disease remains the leading cause of death in America, and scientists continue to look at what we can do ourselves to lower our risk. There's a new research study published in the Journal of American College of Cardiology that takes another look at alcohol and its effect on heart disease. Our medical expert, Dr. David Winter from Baylor Scott & White, joins us now to discuss it. Good morning, Dr. Winter. Good morning, Chris. Good to be with you. All right, so we have this new study here on alcohol and heart disease. So tell us a little bit about your takeaways from this study. Yeah, Chris, there's been studies throughout the years trying to figure out is alcohol good for your health or bad for your health? You may remember two months ago we had a study that said it was neutral, not good nor bad. This recent study just came out this week contradicts that. Big study, 53,000 participants, 60% of them were women. 60%, the average age was 65, and they said that mild to moderate consumption of alcohol is actually good for you, lowers the risk of heart attacks by 22%. Okay, so this happens a lot, it seems like, where we get conflicting studies, and we're sitting here wondering what, she, what we should believe. So why should we believe this research over the previous studies? What's different about it? What's different is they actually took PET scans seen activity in the brain. I want to show you with this model. They looked at when people are under stress, what happens? Well, the amygdala right here in the middle of the brain gets activated. This is the part of the brain that's the fight or flight response. Kicks up your blood pressure, kicks up your heart rate, gets you ready to do something for the stress that's out there, whether it's real or perceived. And what you do with alcohol, it calms that down. When it does that, you're actually safer. We don't need all that stress right now, and alcohol can help with that in moderation. You're the doctor, I am not, but I'm guessing that this is not just a green light to go drink as much alcohol as we need every time we get stressed. So what advice do you have for people on when they do drink and how to do it in a way that this study, study might suggest is healthier, I guess I should say? Yeah, let me, let me define what a serving of alcohol is. So a serving of alcohol, one serving is 12 ounces of beer, or five ounces of wine, or an ounce and a half of distilled spirits. Now this is bourbon, whiskey, <laughs> vodka, gin, tequila. That's one serving. And so mild to moderate consumption for women is one to two servings. For men, two to three. More than that, it's clearly not good for you, Chris. It's gotta be moderation. As always, drink responsibly. Dr. David Winter, thank you very much with the information on that very interesting study. You bet.